Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is the weekly squirtle. So let's start with cross for that. It's Cause it's kind of like a crossword, right? Interesting, let's move that R and C around. I'm thinking an ER word. So, you know, if we guess racer, then we'll have a better chance of placing the R. That's not bad. Oh. Uh. A R C E maybe. I can't think what else it could possibly be. Um, but I don't see a word for that. Let's hold off on that. Let's get the right word. Um, aroma. No. Um. So it has to be R O A, like broad. It is broad. Okay. Well, that did not help the left word at all. Um, A is definitely second. We can't start with C. C can't be third. So, I mean, C could be there or the end, fourth or the end. The e. I mean, we could start with E A, but I'm not sure how much that helps. Um, I feel like maybe it's like A R E C. I feel like A-R-C-E makes the most sense, but I can't find a word. Most, most of the words are A-R-S-E in this case. Um, so what am I missing? A, it's not A-E. I like E at the end. We have an R and a C. In the, if this is the case, the C has to be there, and then the R has to be there. So if the E is at the end, we're forced to do this. Let's just go through some of these words, just make sure I'm not missing anything obvious. Farce. I'm missing farce, and that's what it was. Okay. Maybe I should start with farce for, uh, <laughs> um, for fibble. Oh, I don't do fibble as a bonus game anymore, so we don't have fibble starts anymore. Oh, well. Speaking of fibble, let's do fibble. All right, so let's assume one of these grays is a lie. So let's do sleep. That's fun. So that has one lie in slope, the L's being brought in, the E and the P are yellow. Ooh. So we have a lie between these P's, which means that these S's have to be true, these L's have to be true, because they agree and these disagree. Um, these E's agree. So... I'm wondering if we did something like, ooh, see, here's the thing. If the P was in the word, like if we were S-P-E-E, -E, the problem is then um, I have to bring in the O, and I'm not going to be able to do that. So I think that this P is truthful, and I think this P is the lie. This E has to be truthful. Well, the E doesn't. Yeah, the E has to be truthful because one of these E's is green for sure. So there's an O, so there's an O, there's no O in the word. Okay. So yeah, I think what we have here is um, one of these E's is correct and the other one's gray or yellow, I guess. So I wonder if it's like S E. I could try sever. That has one lie per each. Okay, I have expected that to be right, but okay, we know that S is correct. If we want this E to be the lie, then we have to go, ooh, yeah, we, we, we ran out of spots for E. I don't think this E can be the lie, because if this E is the lie, even if it's green, I have nowhere to put the other E. So there's one E, which means, yeah, one of these E's was lying as gray. So S, and then, there. I don't know, is, is the R just lying? So we just have like an S and then we have an E somewhere. Um, I could guess sweat. Yeah, that has one lie each. Okay, we know the S was the lie, which is huge because we got the EA placed. So I wonder if it could be S something EAR. Like sheer. All right, that's the lie. It, it does end in, it is S something EAR. I just didn't get the right letter. Smear. There we go. Cool. Yeah, that the nastiest lies are when yellows are lying because they're supposed to be green. Because you kind of assume 
I don't know why. I assume if a letter's lying, then it's probably gray, but I think it's because most of the time a lying letter is gray, because most letters are naturally gray. I feel like statistically, most lies, if it's a if it's a lie that's a uh, yellow or green lying, it's going to be lying as gray because the letter has a much higher chance of being gray. That's what I think. Anyway, this, this was a good solve. I liked this solve. I didn't get too tripped up on the lies. Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Um, Hobbs. Like comic book characters? Calvin and Hobbes, right? Or fictional tigers? I don't know. Notorious? Like Notorious B.I.G.? <laughs> Um, we've had rappers as a category before. Birds, like plural. Plural birds. Okay, robin and goose are birds. Duck is a bird. I don't see another bird. Dodge is a car brand? Watson is a. Are these like supporting characters like Hobbes from Calvin and Hobbes and Watson from. Um, um, that detective. What, why am I blinking on his name? Oh my gosh. Sherlock Holmes. There we go. Um, any other. Batman and Robin. This has to be it. What's the other one, though? Goose, maybe, from Top Gun? Let's go for it. I got it. Sidekicks. Okay. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Um, Escape from New York. <laughs> Rebecca is from New York. <laughs> Um, duck, duck, duck and skirt, like, like you can skirt around something, you can duck under something, I don't know, um, you can string someone along, I'm not sure if this is a category. I feel like rope and string would go together, but maybe not. Because what else would go in there? I mean, skirt could be just the clothing item. Oh, wait, we got duck, duck, dodge, and skirt. I feel like these have to go together. Oh, and escape? So you can, like, duck out of somewhere. Yeah, so, like, it, you, you can get out of something. There it is. Avoid. Okay, that was the yellow. Great. Uh, what is this? Purple, then. Um... Oh, if it is wrappers, I'm gonna have no clue, but maybe I can get the other category. Oh, string cheese, cream cheese, cottage cheese. What's the other cheese? Say cheese! Oh my gosh, this is the purple. Yeah, oh, come on. Rebecca, Rope, Notorious, and Birds. I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue, but this is supposed to be the green. Do these have anything to do with each other? Rebecca is so out there. All right, well, let's find out. Hitchcock movies. Oh, yeah, there was there was no way I was ever getting that. <laughs> so, I mean, I got it just because of the mechanics of the game, but I did not understand the last category, which at least I didn't make any mistakes. That was pretty cool. I liked getting the sidekicks. That felt like that felt like a really good insight to get the sidekicks. All right, let's do the weekly squirtle. Um, what are we going to start with? How about cream? That's fun. All right, let's do a thumbnail face. All right, maybe that's good enough. All right, no M. That's good to know. The E is placed. Um, 
Okay, there's a C in this word. There's an R in this word somewhere. Mm, where's this? The C in both words. Interesting. Um, could it be farce? <laughs> it could be. No, it can't be. It can't end in E. Um, I'm thinking like A R C Y, but then we'd have to start with Y here. But um, ooh, no, I was gonna say Marco, but there's no M. Um, okay, I'm not gonna fill that in yet. Um, let's let's just get new letters. I don't think the C goes here. So, um, how about a common second letter like L? Um, we know there's an A somewhere, so why don't we put the A here? Let's do laugh. That's a fun one. Okay, the A was correct. Um, that helps place this A. I think A. I think this word probably starts with A. Um, should I put the U here then? Like a null? We know there's an L somewhere. This will help find it. Oh, unfortunately, a null is. I don't think it's two L's. Now that I look at it. Now that it didn't now that it rejected it and told me I spelled it wrong. Um a cult is two C's. Hmm. Why is this so hard? Adult. Let's do adult. Still haven't found the L. That's interesting. Uh this U must go here. Words don't end in U generally. Um This could be the C. See, we have an L. Oh, there's an L in this word. And now we've placed it, because it can't be here or here. Um, there's a T in this word. It doesn't go next to the L. Well, yeah, it doesn't go next to the L. So probably these. this word ends in T, just given both T's pointing. OK, what else can we learn? There's a C somewhere. I could try C here. Both words have a C. Um, I'm going to try crust. I can't do crush. Yeah, let's just do crust. All right, that reinforces where I think the T goes. I got the. I did not place the C. So could this word end in C? I guess we could find out. C, L, clout. No, it can't have a U here. How about cleft? Wow, I was right about the E. I'm surprised. Neither C is correct. OK, this C just got placed here. This C just got placed here. Interesting. So I was wrong about this not being C very much. <laughs> so what letter comes before that C both times? Um, I C? It's not A. Oh, this has an F. That's an F. This could be an F as well, but it doesn't have to be. I'm trying to oh maybe it's an S. I bet you it's an S. S C. So what goes S C A something F? I'm honestly not sure. Could this be sent? Let's guess sent. It is sent. Good, got one right. Um, there's an R in this word. I should probably use the clues I've got. Um, we found the T. There's an E in this word. I like it here. Um, I don't know what, oh, scarf, and then rouse, carol, ooh. NQ? I feel like NQ would have another UE at the end. Uh, and then we'd have to do ARQ, no, there's no way. R uh, I was gonna say argue, but that doesn't start with E. Um, do we know anything else I haven't marked? 
I could get Carol, but let's see. Can't. Can I get any of this? What is this? Fleet? Double E? Is this noose? Is it Carib and Carol? Let's try it. No, it can't be TB. Never mind. If this is an O, this this is probably an E. Canoe. Um. Okay, if I can figure out this word, then I can just get it in to the remaining guesses. I don't think there's anything more efficient than that. Uh, tenant. Um, what is this? N N Sue and arson. Yeah, and tenant. Yeah. So I think I got it. So let's get canoe. Let's get arson. Oops, arson. Good thing I didn't accept. We'll get rouse and we'll get fleet. Nice. Six per usual. <laughs> I don't think I could have finished that more efficiently from where I was. So there we go. Cool. Um, honestly, an easier one today. And Sue was tough for sure. But the rest are, are pretty straightforward. Canoes, canoe and canoe and and Sue are the hardest ones. All right. Let's do polygonal. Uh, we've got an eight letter word today with a lot of repeats. ING I don't think works. Um probably this would be an E. I would think this would be an E. We'd end in like ER or E D. And then what would we do here? Like like a seed shed. No. Um can't do it anyway. It feels to me this feels like one of those words that's two words smashed, two four letter words smashed together, but I don't know for sure, obviously. Um, those are really hard to guess often. But like I'm thinking, like, if that was an S, this would be an H, right? Like, like a sheep shed or something. You know, you know, you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. Um, so we're changing the sound by doing a double consonant. T T the. I just can't think of it though. I don't know how to solve this one without wandering into it. This is one another one of those that's just. I feel like if I can't get the suffix, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a lot harder. Um, the problem is this, this repeating is really throwing me off. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a filler, unfortunately. Um, we're going to assume that that hexagon's uh, an E and we're not even going to confirm there's an E yet. So I'll do robustly first. So we're still assuming this is an E. This is not R or S, so we're going to put a T there, and we're going to end with S, or maybe T. Hmm, I don't like it. So what if this repeated letter wasn't any of the letters we have yet? I don't like, oh wait, sorry. Do I like this at all? Oh, the T can't go there, though. So this would be like R E S, and this would be like a T. Dietrich. I don't like this. Um, is this forced? Kind of. We could put the S here, and then we could do R E T. Doesn't seem good. Or we could put. Thinking about where the, the R can go, right? Because the R can go here or here. So if the R goes here, 
then we have the, the, the S is forced here and the T is forced there. So what would this be? I don't see how this would be anything. So the R cannot go there. So the R has to go in, oh sorry, the R could go anywhere. Oh, the R goes in, sorry, the R doesn't go there. There's four open slots, what am I doing? Oh no, the R doesn't go at the beginning because that's the repeated letter, right? So R doesn't go there. So if R went here, the T, the S can't go here, so the T goes there and the S goes at the end. So what, what would this be? Oops, no, sorry, I keep doing that wrong. The T would go there. I think I looked at this one. I don't see it. So I don't see how the R could go here. Oh no, so the the S could go here and the T could go there. We could look at that. I still don't, I don't see how that would work. Um, so the R would go at the end. That would force the S here and the T here. Okay, I, I really think that that means the R is the repeated letter. Not the R, the T is the repeated letter. Um, R could go at the end, and we could do like team, team, it's not teamster though, it's teamster. Um, that's the problem, like this doesn't work. I have to do another filler. I'm going to do, I guess I'll do machine, machined, and just see what happens. It's not an E, that's the problem. Whoa, okay, one, two, three, four, five, I think we have all our letters. So we know the R, A, or sorry, we know the A and C don't repeat here. Is it the S? And then this has to be the, this has to be the A, no matter what. And we've got uh, the T and the R to place. Wait, I'm missing uh, the C, the T, and the R to place. Whoa. Could this be the T or the R or? How does this C work? We know the C is not the repeated letter. We have to repeat the A or we're just not gonna have enough vowels in this word. Should I just be seeing this immediately? Like, it feels like I should. Um, A double T, no, the C can't go anywhere now. A double S. Uh, like, wait a minute. Is my assumption that the A has to repeat wrong? I don't see how, like. Attracts. Oh, it was the T. Whoa, that's such a hard word. I was completely on the wrong track the entire time. Uh, four words match. Attracts is the only common one. There is aliable, re-earned, and seedsman. So checking e seedsman is is kind of along the lines of what I was thinking, but of two words smashed together. There's no reason I would think seedsman was a word, though, over any of the other ones. And it wouldn't have helped very much. All right, yeah, Hexpert Solve, you basically just have to get Attracts or you can't get it. It's basically how this one goes. <laughs> wow, that's a hard one to try too, because it's really tempting to put the vowel in the three repeat spot. Or like an S there, right? Like T is not your initial instinct. Tough, tough, tough one for expert. All right, let's do the mini. Oop, this is the most common one. Let's do sleet. Um, we'll assume it's an L and we'll do rally. Okay, on the right track. Um, Dolly. Golly. Uh-oh. Danger zone. Um, is there a super common one that I'm missing? Like Holly, Deck the Halls of Bounds of Holly? Bows of Holly? I, I said Bounds, didn't I? Polly, I'm thinking of. Folly. I think Folly is better than Polly. Apparently not. It was jolly. Ah, oh, I just had to continue the song. Wait, is jolly in that song? Anyway, darn, I lost. 
I am not jolly about that. The Ollie trap is so nasty. Okay, let's do symbol. Start with blaze. Oh, we might end in E. We'll try rouse. We do end in E. Um, let's try tenant. We, we had rouse, we had tenant. Ooh. Oh, why would I do that? It, anyway, I was thinking um, two E's, and then I transposed the E for some reason. But we know it's this now. Um, it could be penny. Pence. Okay, penny is better than pence. <laughs> All right. Oof. I don't know. Tenet helped a lot, but I don't like it when I accidentally guess a word that it couldn't be in symbol. All right. Let's do fusel. We'll guess pence here, and oof. See, this is nasty because if there's an e at the end, it'll be gray there. Uh, why not? Hey, it's yellow. Okay, so that's actually a really good result because that gives us information about this. Which is, it's, I guess it's probably gray is the way I'll put that. Let's try an E-R word. Let's try an O-E-R word. Um, you know what? We're not going to get, we're not going to get, um, we're not going to miss the J on this one too. So we'll do Joker. All right. Um, where's the E go? Maybe the middle? Um... Even if this last E is green, there's still another E that has to go here or here. So. <coughs> um, what do I want to guess here? Like, smell? Repeated letters aren't terrible in this um, alphabetical clue. Okay, so this S means that it's near S alphabetically. If you look at the keyboard below me, you see the orange ones. So, and then otherwise not nearby those letters. Come on. There we go. I think T is probably the most likely. Um, not near L doesn't help a whole lot. What would I do with the T here? I mean, I'm thinking TH, but also I'm thinking I don't know what word this would end with. Um, it doesn't have to be T, but what, what, how does this end? Like, uh, why don't I see anything? There's so many letters left. Maybe it ends in SH. The problem is I can't think of a... How would we end in SH? The problem is this isn't R or L, so I'm kind of struggling. Um... You know what it could be? It could be Quest. Not even close. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, this is anything but a real word, so we're going to find out if this starts with T. We're going to... What are we going to do? What do I want? Um, we could find out if it ends in Y. We could find out if this is an H, I guess. And then we could check for more vowels, I guess, like A and I. Sure. Oh, I bet it's theta. Okay, it's not theta. The only thing we got was the I, which is the one I was like, ah, I don't even know if I want to include that. Wonderful. So this is not a T. P, I suppose, is the most likely at this point. But then is it like, ooh, what if it's peace? Oh my gosh, it did end in E the entire time. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, I got it. <laughs> peace. I should have given peace a chance. All right, we're gonna start with peace. Oh, another another blank on a on a double letter. This is I shouldn't be doing, doing this. Um, so it could be e in the middle still. <laughs> so I'm gonna guess shell because I have to do a double letter anyway. Okay, there's no e. 
Um, the H is interesting. What if it's an O-U-G-H word? Like rough. Oh, okay, so we got a lie. I don't think the H is lying. I think maybe the... I don't know what's lying. Um, greens are the most likely lie. But at the same time, I need to figure out what we're... And I can't guess S here. Okay, I'm going to guess fourth. Oh, I can't guess O either. Um... Well, okay, is there any, I can use R and U, so is there any way I am using R and U with an H at the end? Uh, that seems tough. That's rough. <laughs> um, it's the only way I would actually guess something that could be the answer, but I, I don't have to on this one. Um, what can I find out? I can find out if the U is lying or not. I can find out if there's an R in the word. What am I going to start with? Am I really out? Oh, I can start with T. Okay, I was like, am I really out of things? I could guess truth. Truth has two lies in rough, so it's not the answer, but I think it could be useful. It was useful. So TH is correct. The U was lying, so this is an O. I think it is fourth. Oh. Um, I was close, though. Worth. There we go. I wanted to guess fourth here. <laughs> But it wouldn't let me. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Truth helped test. So there we go. Well, uh, the games were a little bit all over the place. I think connections went well. Um, so yeah, well, let me know how you did on these. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.